Hey everyone, it's Lens Addict here, and I thought I would do a really quick video showing you what the M2 16 inch MacBook Pro looks like on the inside and any differences it has with the M1 16 inch MacBook Pro. So let's have a look. I've got them open now and I'll show you. So this model here is a 16 inch M2, and this here is a 16 inch M1. This is a 5.1.12 gig model, and this is a one terabyte model. What I find interesting is, is that there's one, two, three, four, five flash storage chips. And I'll have a little zoom up close so you guys can have a look. So yeah, there's the 16 inch parts. And here is, uh, there's one, there's five SSD chips on the M1, but on the M2, we notice that there's four, and this is a one terabyte model, so Apple must be doing larger flash storage chips here. Uh, what I also find interesting is that the little bowl thingies here are, are um, there's more of them it seems than on the the um, the M1. So maybe they're higher throughput per chip. Just interesting to see the differences. I also noticed that all the capacitors here are missing and resistors, but on this one they're not. So maybe they just put them all on if there's any chips here. So it might be a cost cutting measure or a way of saving, making bigger margins, or maybe those chips are cheaper, I'm not too sure, but that's the only difference I could tell really. Um, everything else seems to be quite similar. I guess there's some other changes, like they've got these little ball thingies on here now. Um, so just for context, the silver laptop is the M2, the space gray is the M1, just to help you guys remember. Um, yeah, so we can see there's just a few extra little things that are missing, like this thing here. Um, other than that, they look remarkably similar, really. I guess the heatsink has changed, so this one's a thicker heatsink. It looks like they were using the same heatsink of the Max. Um, whereas this one, they've kind of made the heatsink a bit smaller, maybe. Um, anything on the battery? Looks like it's a, um, 99.6 watt hour battery. This is also a 99.6 watt hour battery. From here on in, I'll just give you some close shots of the components. So you could maybe look them up if you want to. Looks like the flash storage they're using is Hynix. As we can read the Hynix logo. And on the older one, it's also Hynix. That's pretty cool. I hope you all really enjoyed that little look inside of the M2 MacBook Pro. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I could open it back up again and take some more video footage of it if you like or answer any other questions. I'm um, also going to be doing an unboxing and review coming soon. So that's being done today. See you all in the next video.